Hey friends, it's Flair, and today we're going to increase engagement in your Twitch channel with 11 simple chat commands for StreamerBot. I'm going to jump right in, but before I do so, I want to let you know that if you don't use StreamerBot, I can still help you set up these commands in whatever bot you do use. Just go down to the comments, let me know which command you'd like and which bot you use, and I'll try to point you in the right direction. That being said, I do also have a setup video for StreamerBot linked in the description, and I recommend it wholeheartedly. The pinned comment in this video will have the import string you need if you wish to import these commands into your bot. There's also a link to my video about how to do the actual import, but we'll go through the super quick version right now. Just click that import button at the top of the streamer bot and paste the block of text that you copied into the main field. Then click import at the bottom and you're done. You should now have 11 new actions and 11 corresponding commands. Now let's go through them. The first two of these are simply ways for your chatters to interact with each other in a playful way. They both require a target and this can be either with or without the at sign. Your chatters can type exclamation hug target and the bot will say user hugs the bananas out of the target or whatever else you want to set the message to say. Similarly, they can type exclamation ban target and the bot will completely remove them from chat. Not just kidding. It doesn't actually ban them. It just spits out a message like user one bans target to the void. These messages can be configured in any way you want, but the basic setup is there for you. The next one is something I've seen in many, many channels, but I've also seen people complaining about it all over Twitter. So I guess it's a bit controversial as innocuous as it seems to me. This is the exclamation alert command. All it does is let your chatter signal when they're not going to be chatting for a bit. The argument from opponents of this command is, well, if you're going to lurk, just lurk. You don't have to announce it. But I personally appreciate it when people use this command in chat, especially if they were engaging me in conversation and then have to step away. It keeps me from asking questions that go unanswered or focusing on someone in chat that's not able to hear anymore. The exclamation crush command uses some logic to fetch a random user from chat and match them up with the person who used the command. I baked in some logic that'll keep it from matching people with your bots. You can adjust that list of bots by opening the execute code pick user sub action and adding or removing items from the list of bots. Once a random user has been chosen, the bot will send a message like user has a big old crush on other user. Speaking of random values, it can also be fun to have a command that spits out a random percentage for some arbitrary measurement and tell the user about it. In this example, the bot tells a user how magical they are when they type exclamation magic, but I've seen this used in about a hundred different ways, from exclamation stinky to exclamation horny to everything in between. It works by fetching a random number between 0 and 100 and then using that random number in the output message. Very simple. Now's the time when I ask you to like the video and leave a comment. I do this because it tells both me and YouTube that the video has been helpful. YouTube will share it to more people and I'll make more videos like it. It helps me out a lot, so I appreciate it. Next up is a magic eight ball command. It works as you might expect. The chatter types exclamation eight ball and then asks a yes or no question and the bot responds with an answer from a range of responses that you can see and adjust in the action. There's also a bit of code to check that they actually asked a question and tell them how to use the command properly if they haven't. The next three are really just simple commands that spit out a static line of text that you can change manually whenever you need to. If a chatter types exclamation socials, the bot will output links to your social media or maybe just a link tree or something. You'll obviously want to set this to your own social media links, but feel free to test out the command by visiting my link and following me everywhere. If a chatter types exclamation hype, the bot will output a block of emotes for those times when you really just want a bunch of emotes in chat. If a chatter types exclamation QOTD, the bot will output a predefined question of the day to engage your chat. Put this exclamation QOTD in your title to encourage its use, or if you have something that greets new chatters, you can put it there as well. While we're on the topic, why don't you go down to the comments and answer my question of the day? What's your favorite book? Mine's Fairy Tale by Raymond Feist. I'll put a link in the description. You should definitely check it out. Now we'll get to a more advanced topic with near infinite possibility, returning results from API calls. There are open APIs out there for so many things, from fetching a random picture of a cat or the local weather forecast, to pirate insults and dad jokes. If the API endpoint that you're consuming can return plain text, it's real easy. These commands can be done with a simple fetch URL sub action that stores the response in a variable. You then output this variable with a send message sub action. This is the case for my dad joke command. Sometimes the response from the API is more complicated though, and you'll have to use some custom C sharp code to parse the text you want out of the data object returned by the API. For my exclamation WYR or would you rather command, this extra step was necessary. If you open the WYR action, you'll see that it's still using a fetch URL sub action to get the response from the API, but then we're storing the response in a global variable and running some custom C sharp to pull the actual text out of that response data. At the end of the day, it's not too complicated, but the ability to do this is the kind of thing that really makes StreamerBot shine. This API would simply not work with Nightbot, or Stream Elements, or Streamlabs chatbots. 
I find the would you rather command to be quite useful for sparking conversation in chat, as often it can lead to a polarized group of responses. You can get your chatters defending one side or another and engaging, maybe even arguing with each other. And as long as it's in a friendly way, that's the whole point of all this, building connections and having real conversations with your growing community. Let me know in the comments which of these you found the most interesting. If you've watched the video this far and haven't hit the like button yet, what are you doing? You've obviously liked it. Hit the button. Then go watch this video about commands for your moderators. Enjoy, and remember to spread love, not hate.